hello guys this is stitch clockwise if today is your first time of seeing this face please do where to follow this page this page is where you get first hand knowledge about tips on how to travel at low cost and what we focus on this page is how we can help you to secure sponsorship jobs and also provide you schools that will offer you sponsorship so if you are that type that don't want to break the bank before you migrate to any country around the world please do where to follow this page and subscribe to our youtube channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how you can search for jobs that will give you sponsorship visa on job bank job bank is that website that is based in canada where all employers meet in order to look for job seekers so stick around i'll be guiding you step by step process on how you can get the lmia jobs lmia is that certificate that is given by the canadian government to employers in order for them to be able to sponsor you as a job seeker so if you want to know more about this please let's dive in and i will show you how it's been done so guys what you have to do is to go to google and search for job bank just type job bank canada so once it opens, you see the logo on the websites and you see the word job bank with a link www.jobbank.gc.ca. So that's how you know the real link because there are many other ones that are trying to imitate the, the, the link or the site. So you just click on this one. <coughs> Excuse me. So once it loads and make sure you must have opened an account if you've not opened an account yet you have to create an account for you to be able to so it's, this it looks like you are visiting canada from outside just close it then what you need to do if you don't have an account this is where you come and you click job seekers i've done a video on how to create an account so let's go straight to how to search for those job that will give you sponsorship now if you check here you have part-time you have remote you have it you have student you have lmia now let me show you guys what lmi means L -I -L -M -I -A meaning okay all right so like i told you guys previously that lmia is a certificate this is a certificate you see it on the right hand side and it says LMIA, which means Labor Market Impact Assessment, is a document that an employer in Canada may need to get before hiring a foreign worker. So if this is a document that an employer must have before employing you, so no need for you to be looking for employers that don't have it. So that's why you must focus on those companies that have or employers that have this LMIA certificate. So now, to look for the LMI certificate, just click here. You see, you click here. What means, what are you looking for? Which job do you want? Location means, which part of Canada do you want this job? If you go under advanced, you will see a lot of settings that will enable you to customize your search so that you don't, um, so that you don't get um, too many distractions. If I, let me just click it to show you guys before we proceed further. Let's click it. So you see it. As of today, we have 149 jobs. 149,000 jobs, 881. You see it. So last 48 hours, look at them. Everything you need to know. Look at the cities, province. You can set it, customize it. This is where you customize what you want. What kind of job do you want? Is it overtime, on call, on the road? You see it, everything is there. Language, is it French job you want or both French and English? Don't forget in Canada, they speak only to English, okay? Period of employment, permanent, temporary, seasonal, casual, anything you want. Are you seeing it? So that's it. This is where you customize your job bank account, okay? So let's click on this place so that we'll go back to the landing page. Now, 
to look for LMI job, what you just do, just type the word LMIA. You see it? Now, you see what we have? We have 12,039 um, search. And you see carpenter, bookkeeper, retail store, living in caregiver persons with disabilities and the amounts and everything and the city where they are. Kitchen helper, harvest worker, nanny, general farm work, chicken culture, chick kitchen helper, administrative office. You can go on and on, but it all depends on what your qualification is. Now you see here, when you come to this where you see love, this love simply means if you like this job and you don't have your CV, for instance, to apply immediately, you can click this love. When you click this love, it will be stored in your favorite. So anytime you have your CV ready, you cannot go back to, let me click it so we can check it out later and confirm what I'm saying. So I need to log in. Remember, you can search without logging in but I told you, you must have an account. So let's log in, create an account. I've done a video on that. So, okay. So once you log in, it will ask you, a question security question because when you were creating it the accounts they'll ask you four questions you pick you be the one or pick the type of question you can remember so this is my landing page you see it so i've applied I've, I've, i have applied i have applied so now let's look at it let's go back to where we stopped lmia we search it come out yeah you can put click the love you see because i didn't log in that was why they asked me to log in to keep a favorite you must log in so let's look at which one now which one will i use okay let me use the carpenter for instance the first one open a new tab you can open as many tab as you want depend on the job you are looking for and don't use one CV to apply for all the jobs, okay? For so you, create like three other CV apart from your professional CV. Now, this is the carpenter. How do you know if it has LMI? You see this logo, this yellow logo. And if you read it, it said, this employer has applied for a labor market impact assessment to hire foreign workers. So this man here can apply, can, can bring foreigners. But on this job, if you check very well, check this part, you see the only two persons they are looking for. And when are they wait, waiting for you to start as soon as possible? How many hours per week? 20, 40 to 30 hours per week. Permanent employment, full time, day, evening. So you can read all about the job. The language, education, they don't even need your BSc. Experience seven months to less than one year. Work site noisy, dusty. See, this tax is what you will put on your CV. You will edit it, modify it, and use it to form your CV if you are the type that want to uh, apply for this job. Look at different information. Now, this is where you will check if they can employ you. It says, who can apply to this job? The employer accept application from Canadian citizens and permanent or temporary resident of Canada. All that candidates with or without a valid Canadian passport or permit. So you see, that's where you fall into. So if I want to apply, look at the deadline for this. is December 28. So if you want to apply, you can apply. So let's see, show how to apply. How to apply. You see, the man has given you an email the employer so you copy this em employer email you open your go to your gmail or whatever you be calling your email box you create you create a message and attach your cv so 
You click on Compose. After clicking on Compose, let's wait for it to load good. You put the image where you have to. What is the subject? The subject is the job. What is the job title? That's the sub subject, Carpenter. You put it there. Then you put the reference number. Are you seeing it? So this is your bank. So this is it. Then you now write a small letter or it's what you call supporting statement. Say hello, IRA manager. Application for the role of a capita. Job. You can put job. You can put role, whatever suits you. See it. You now start to type and say how you I am interested, how I am clearly interested, depend on your grammar, grammar pro is clearly interested in the above position in your company. I you now let them know your qualification. I am I am currently having nine years of experience in woodwork. Some of my skis, you tell them your skis include uh, maybe joining. Um, just list. I'm not good at carpentry, so O first three, O first three. Just doing this as an example. Uh, wood carving and shaping. So after you've done all your qualification, I will be glad if i um or you let them know that you think you are the best candidate i think i am the best man for for this job because due to my wealth of experience i will be more than grateful To move to the next stage. Just faithfully. Put your name, teach clockwise. Put your real name. Or, uh -huh. So you can correct your spelling, ensure your spellings are okay. Me, I'm just doing a sample. Now, before you submit, you attach your CV. You must attach your CV and your cover letter. Because those are those, those are the two things that will speak for you. Because you are not there. So you attach your CV. All right. So let's look for one any document and just put okay, this is CV. I'll put the CV. I don't have a cover letter, but I can just put a cover letter or anything that looks like it. So now you see, what I need to do now is to submit, but since I'm using this as a practical, I will remove this image so I don't spoil your chances. So I just put my email, I want to send to myself. So you press send, that's it. You see it, the email has arrived, that is it to myself to check if it went, if 
you are not sure, you come click send, you will see the email, you see it is sent. If the email did not send, you go to this part, um, draft, you will see it there. If it did not send, so draft is where you, you have your um, incomplete mails, or sometimes you go to add boss. Add boss means maybe there's network issue and all that. So if you have any question, please do follow us on our um, YouTube, follow us on all our platform. For you to have first-hand knowledge, you need to follow us on all those platform, including WhatsApp. All right, you guys have a blessed time. See you guys in our next video. Bye-bye for now.